This is an LED cube having six LEDs on each edge. It has six floors. Anode terminals of each floor, all LEDs in each floor is interconnected to form a net like structure. And such a net like structure will be there in all the floors. This will give six anode common anode terminals. And cathode terminals of all vertical LEDs are interconnected to form a to form 36 cathode terminals. So in total there will be 42 terminals. Out of which 36 will be cathode terminals and 6 will be anode terminals. To control 42 terminals, we need 42 control pins. We are planning to use Arduino Uno to control LED cube, but Arduino Uno have only 14 control pins. To increase the number of control pins, we are using 74 HSC 595 ICs. These are 74 HSC 595 ICs. Here we are using 774 HSC 595 ICs. Using one IC, we can produce 8 digital pins from 3 digital pins of Arduino. So, if you are using 774 HSC 595 ICs, we could generate 56 control pins from 3 digital pins of Arduino. But 74 HSC 595 have the capacity to drive only one LED at its maximum brightness. To control more LEDs, we have to use drivers. Here we are using two kinds of drivers. One is ULN2803 and the other is L293D. We are using five ULN2803 ICs here and two L293D ICs are used here. ULN2803 is used to control the cathode terminals and L293D is used to control anode terminals. 36 cathode terminals are connected to 36 output pins of this uh, group of ULN2803 and 6 anode terminals are connected to the output pins of this L293D and the control pins to control output pins of ULN2803 is supplied from the sand 4 HSC595 and control pins to control sand 4 HSC595 is given from Arduino in short, we could say that Arduino will control 74 HSC 595 and 74 HSC 595 will control ULN2803 and the L293D and these two in common control will control the LEDQ.